Hi friends, I am Pankaj Kumar and you are watching Mechanical Engineering Knowledge Junction. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to analyze the beam with inclined load acting at point C, D, E and A point is simply supported and B point is roller supported and the given values of Young's modulus as 25 and a poisons ratio 0 0.27 and the breadth into height ratio as 200 into 400 mm. So we have to find the stress and deflection and also draw the SFT and BMD diagram. So we are going to analyze this problem by using ANSYS mechanical APDL. So first of all when ANSYS mechanical APDL go to preferences click on structural click OK. Now go to preprocessor click on element type click on add edit delete now click add select beam and 2 node 188 as save function now click ok close this now go to material properties click on material models <coughs> click on structural click on linear click on elastic click on isotropic and give the young model as 2e5 and poisons ratio 0 0.27 now click ok close this minimize property and go to section click on beam click on common section and give the value as 200 by 400 you can click on preview to preview the cross section now click ok and right click here mouse and replot it to hide the cross section now in my section go to modeling click click on create click on key point now click on inactive cs if all boxes are empty and if you click apply then origin will be created now we have to create point c d e and b with respect to origin so i'm going to give here as one meter as 1000 mm 2 meter as 2000 mm 3 meter as 3000 mm and 4 meter as 4000 mm now click ok thus we have created all the key points now we have to join all the key point with the help of line so minimize key point go to lines click on lines go to a straight line click here and here to join this 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 now click ok now minimize modeling go to meshing click on size control click on manual size click on global click on size now give the number of divisions you want between two key point so i'm going to divide the line between two co key point in 20 divisions so click ok now minimize this go to meshing click on lines now click on boxes and select all the line carefully and now click apply now click ok so meshing is done now go to plot and replot lines to clearly visualize your key points now we have to apply the inclined load at this point this point and this point so again go to modeling and go to key point and go to nodes and go to rotate node in active cs and select by angles now select this node and click apply and give here the angle at which you want you have to apply the force you have to apply the force at 30 45 and 60 respectively so while giving the angle we have to give here the value as 30 minus 90 now click apply again select this node and click apply and give here as 45 minus 90 now click apply and again select this node and click apply and give here value as 60 minus 90 now click ok thus we have rotated the node at which we have to apply the force now go to loads click on define loads and click on apply click on structural click on displacement and click on key points select this point and click apply and select ux ui uz and rotational x and rotational y now click apply again select this point and click apply and uh, select only ui and click ok so thus we have apply simply support and rolling support at point a and b now we have to apply the forces so go to forces now select nodes select this node and click apply and give the value and select here as fy and give the value as minus 100 newton since the direction is downward now click apply again go to this point click apply give the value as minus 200 newton again click apply now again select this and click apply and give the value here as minus 300 newton now click ok thus we have applied all the forces given in the question now minimize preprocessor go to solution click on solve click on current ls click ok so the solution is done close this and close this window and now go to general post procedure and now again we have to go to element table and define a table 
for SFD and BMD. Now click add and go to this column and select last option and type here as 3. Click apply. Again go to this column, select last option and type here as 6. Click apply. Again go to this column and type here as 16. And click apply. Again go to this column and type here as 19. And click OK. So the combination of 3 and 16 will give the BMD diagram and combination of 6 and 90 will give SFD diagram. Now close this. Now go to plot result and click on deform shape and click on deform plus and deform. Now click OK. So this is the deformation of a beam under the inclined load. And if you want to see this in 3D view, then you have to go to plot control, click on style, go to shape and size and on it and click OK and now click here to isometric view so this is the 3D view and now if you want to see the animation of this deformation again go to plot control click on animate click on deform shape and now select this option and click OK so this is the deformation of beam uh, under the load and this animation is exactly showing how the deformation is taking place now close this and now go to counter plot click on nodal solution click on DOF solution click on displacement vector sum click OK so this is the displacement vector sum diagram so you can clearly see here the maximum displacement is at this point and the minimum displacement is at this point now again click on nodal solution click on stress bring down the arrow and select the one minus stress click OK so you can see the stress distribution here so maximum stress is at this point and minimum is at origin now we have to see the, uh, draw the SFT and PMD diagram so click on line element result select for SMS SMS IS 3 in first box and in second box 16 now click OK so this is the BMD diagram click here to 2D view so this is the BMD diagram and if you want to see the SFT diagram again click on line element result select here SMIS 6 and SMIS 19 in the second box now click OK so this is the SFT diagram now if you want to see the value of reactions nodal loads then you will have to go to list result click on reaction solution click on all item now click OK so this is the node number and corresponding FX FYZ that is force in XYZ and moment in XYZ value now click close this and if you want to see the nodal loads click on nodal loads click all items now click ok so this is the node number and corresponding fx by force and the moment in xyz direction now click here and close it and now go to nodal solution and go to df solution click on displacement vector sum click ok so this is the node number and the corresponding displacement in xyz direction and the maximum displacement are given here now close this similarly you can view the various result of various parameters under the general post procedure so if you like this video if you like this video please like share and subscribe my channel and also share with your friends and family to get the maximum profit from it so thank you bye bye